Five more armed robberies reported on the city's northwest side, bringing the total to dozens in just the last few days in and around Logan Square. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live, and Megan, many business owners are fed up. Right, and three of the victims were riding their bikes when they were robbed at gunpoint, hitting particularly close to home to one bike shop owner who's tired of the spike in crime. Seen too much of it. We've had friends who have been accosted, jump out of the car, boom, man, give me your wallet, give me your phone. It's crazy, man. Two of the victims were attacked right here on this Logan Square block. Two men, about 10 minutes apart, were riding their bikes when they were forced off the street by a silver sedan and robbed of their belongings at gunpoint. As cyclists, you know, we understand we're taking a, just a slightly elevated risk. But when this happens to a cyclist, you've instantly invited a community of people who want to hunt you down. And we know we want the seventh, correct? Smart bike parts owner Eric Pitt's cameras didn't capture Tuesday morning spree. And then we want to come back to the menu. But he's captured robberies and assaults in the last few months. While carjackings in the first ward, which includes areas of Logan Square, West Town, and Wicker Park, are down about 75% over the last year, robberies are up around 72%. Citywide, they're up 18%. And on Sunday, CPD sent out an alert about 19 robberies that happened on the northwest side over the weekend. Armed robbery, then, is seen as less risky. Loyola University criminal justice professor Arthur Lariggio isn't surprised to see a decline in carjackings occurring alongside a rise in armed robbery, the latter being somewhat easier to accomplish. Uh, both groups are extremely violent offenders. They're willing and able to put guns in people's faces. That's what makes it so violent. All right, let's assume I fixed it forever. Meanwhile, Pitt says police in the area are working overtime in an attempt to put the brakes on this violent trend. Big believers in 14, man. I've been here 15 years. They work with us. It's just going to take time to get there. But I think we will. I'm, I'm quite confident we will. Now, for context, while this area has seen a sizable increase in robberies, we should note that Austin and Humboldt Park are currently leading the city in robberies so far this year, with 340 and 255 robberies so far this year, respectively. Live in Logan Square, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators.